Okay, so I am back with another video on creating your art space in your home. And I recently moved in and this was uh, the condition my art space was in after a few months. I never quite got it set up completely. It was functional, but you know, not where it should be. So I decided to just take everything apart and I really need it something to protect my walls because I'm renting. So I actually brought this cardboard from my old townhouse that I was renting. And basically this is just two big sheets of cardboard that I painted white. So it really protects the wall against extra nail holes as well as paint splashes. And I can paint right on there if I want. Now the secret to this is getting the biggest, thickest pieces of cardboard that you can find. And of course if you can't find any big pieces of cardboard, you know, you can use a patchwork of smaller cardboards on your wall, but you really do want the thicker cardboard if you can find it. That way you can use push pins to hang things without damaging the wall behind it. Okay, so this is my cardboard wall, and I tried touching it up. I really screwed up with the paint situation, but just know that if you want a cardboard wall on your wall, you don't have to paint it at all. I really like the way it looked when I had a fresh coat of white paint on here. It made it stand out less, you know, as far as the rest of the room went. And I brought it over here and decided to touch up the white paint. And let's well, just suffice to say I didn't have the right color and I tried it anyway and it's a mess. But I don't care because it's a studio wall. So what this wall is going to do is protect the wall behind it, basically. And I'm a renter, I don't wanna mess up the walls. And even if I owned my place, I wouldn't wanna mess up the walls, right? So it's going to allow me to tape paper onto the wall or tack it on even. I can use little push pins and paint on there. It's really wonderful if you want to paint big. I actually use poster boards sometimes uh, to play with. And I'll just tack it up here or tape it up here and paint and if you haven't painted big you should it's so wonderful to just be able to move your whole body and get your whole body into it instead of just being confined to a little space so this is great if you work on paper if you work on canvas and you're worried about over painting you know like splashing some paint onto your wall this is good for you also frankly I just like to be really protected wherever I paint so that I don't have an opportunity to get paint on anything that shouldn't have paint on it. So I'm extra careful. And here I am putting things back together. And everything you see me doing right now, I'm actually tacking up. So I'm putting push pins up to hang all of that art. And the push pins are just going through the cardboard and not touching the wall behind it. It's a really good system. And here's the finished wall. So next time I will talk about floor coverings and how to protect your floor from paint. All right, see you later. Happy painting.